वेलकम टू नया इनकलाब न्यूज From waking up to the thundering boom of explosions, walking through ravaged streets to having a gun pointed at him, Pola Vishnu Vardhan Rao had a long and arduous odyssey as he found his way through a war-torn Ukraine to reach the safety of his home in Telangana. Prices of cooking oil are on an upward spiral and have gained up to rupees 25 more per liter. The trade segments attribute the increase in prices to the tightening supplies of sunflower and safflower oils, both called as sun oils to the Russia-Ukraine war. A single mother who once rode nearly 1400 kilometers on a scooter during the coronavirus-induced lockdown in 2020 to bring her son back home has been frantic with worry about the 19-year-old boy who is now stranded in war-hit Ukraine along the along with several Indian students. Telangana Chief Minister and TRS President K Chandrasekhar Rao was busy on Thursday meeting with like-minded politicians in New Delhi in a bid to unite the opposition parties against the BJP. The Chief Minister who is camping in New Delhi met BJP Rajya Sabha member Dr Subramanian Swami and Bharatiya Kisan Union representative and farmers leader Rakesh Singh Tikket on Thursday. A case was booked against a group of persons for threatening the management of hotel and damaging furniture at Madhapur on Wednesday night. Dismissing the allegations made by Telangana Pradesh Congress Committee (TPCC) President A. Revanth Reddy against IAS and IPS officers in the state, Director General of Police M. Mahendra Reddy here on Thursday clarified that he was availing medical leave since February 18 after suffering hairline fractures in scapula bone. The state government has initiated action against those behind the destruction of Khaja Gudat rocks and also against alleged encroachment in the area. Hot summers are here in Hyderabad with the mercury continuing its upward leak curve in the last few days. The highest temperature on Wednesday was logged at 37 degrees Celsius. In a major step towards establishing good biomedical waste management practices in government hospitals, the state government on Thursday sanctioned rupees 68.31 crore to establish sewerage treatment plants (STPs) in 20 government hospitals across the state. The Ibrahim Patnam firing which killed two realtors it has turned out was a real estate dispute primarily rivalry being between realtors that took an ugly turn The Hyderabad traffic police provided a green channel to an ambulance transporting a live human heart from Yashoda Hospital in Somaji Gura to Apollo Hospital in Jubilee Hills on Thursday The ambulance carrying the organ started from Yashoda Hospital in Somaji Gura at Hospital at Jubilee Hills at 11:34 a.m. covering the distance of 7 kilometers in 7 minutes. The efforts of the traffic police was appreciated by the management of the two hospitals. The IAF's three evacuation flights with 628 Indians from the Romanian capital Bucharest, Hungary's Budapest and Polish city Rezzo landed at the Hindon Air base here in the early hours of Thursday, sources said. Senior India batter Virat Kohli said he had never thought that he would play 100 Test matches for India in a long journey of playing the longest format of the game. French President Emmanuel Macron believes the worst is to come in Ukraine after a 90-minute phone call with Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin, who appears intent on seizing the whole of the country. An aide to the French leader said. The European Medicines Agency leading vaccine expert said he was not concerned over recent data from New York State on a decline of protection from Pfizer and BioNTech SE COVID-19 vaccine in children aged 5 to 11. Russian troops are seeking to lay siege to the Ukrainian city of Mariupol and cut it off from electricity, food, water, heating and transportation, its mayor said on Thursday. 130 buses are ready to evacuate stranded Indian students and other foreigners from war-torn Ukraine's Kharkov and sunny cities to Russia's Belgorod region, a top Russian military general said on Thursday. Russia's foreign minister says that Moscow is ready for talks to end the fighting in Ukraine but will continue to press its efforts to destroy Ukraine's military infrastructure. At least 3 people were killed and 24 others injured in a blast in Pakistan's Quetta city an official has confirmed media coordinator of health department of Balochistan province Wasim Beg said that victims included a deputy superintendent of police reports Xinhua news agency 
Australia's emergency services ordered 2 lakh people to flee from the path of a wild storm that lurched towards Sydney Thursday after killing 13 people in more than a week of record setting floods along the sea coast. Now coming up to the gold rates 22 carat gold rupees 47300 and 24 carat gold rupees 51600. Now dollar rates 1 US dollar is equivalent to 75.95 Indian rupee. With this I end up with the headlines. But before that, let me remind you that please don't forget to press the bell icon, like, share and subscribe our channel. Take care.